Hey guys, a lot of people have been asking me to make a video on how to install Samsung Pay on your Watch Active 2 and uh, you will also get the ECG and blood pressure along with the Samsung Pay. These are most desirable features but limited by region. So let's get down to the video and if you are new to the channel, subscribe, also like this video for more such content. Let's begin. So first up, let me make it very clear, this is the R820 model and this is an Indian variant running with all the updates installed. This is running on the latest firmware ending with the EU K2 and if you have the R820 model, you may give it a try. So anyway, let's get down to the process. So the first thing that you need to do is go into the settings and about page. Here you need to click on the software version several times to unlock the developer options. Once you do that, you can go ahead and uh, enable the USB debugging mode. Now you need to put your watch in recovery mode, just hold down both the buttons and once you see this powering off, you can leave the back button and now keep holding the power button but you can let go at this point and double press and it will get into the recovery mode. You can use the power button to navigate and navigate to the third option. Now press and hold the power button for making selections and to enter into this wireless download mode. And again double press the power button to put the watch in the AP mode. Now on your Windows PC or laptop you need to disable all the firewalls and if you have any third party antivirus try and disable them as well as these actually can interfere with the process. I got all sorts of errors and lost almost an hour. So you can thank me later. So once you are done with that, go to your Wi-Fi options and choose the R820 that is your watch. And here as you can see, the screen looks something like this. So now open this active to folder where you have all the files. I'll drop links to all of these and here I have already unzipped all of these files, I am not going to do it again. So now open the net Odin software which is what we use to flash the firmware. And here as you can see there is that blue mark on the left side and there is also the IP address on the log which means the watch is connected. Now you need to just choose the combination file from the files in the AP section and uh, just Hit start and this process will take like 10-15 minutes so have some patience and your phone will start downloading the data. You will see this pass message on the Odin software once it successfully flashes and your watch will go through weird sort of screen so don't panic. Finally it lands on this home screen. Now go into the settings and go into the connections here. Choose Wi-Fi and change the setting to always on. Now you need to connect to a Wi-Fi network. You can also use a mobile hotspot with the data. So just connect with a Wi-Fi network giving the passwords etc. So that it connects without any issues. Also once it is connected go to the Wi-Fi settings and here you need to note down the IP address for later use. So now we are almost halfway through. Now just reboot the device and make sure that it lands on this screen again. Now go on to the PC and Wi-Fi settings and make sure that both the laptop and also the watch are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So now open the Active2 folder, SDB, Data, Tools and open the Ansicon application. Now you need to enter some commands here. You can copy from the description below the video so first up type sdb connect and also enter the ip address that we have noted earlier and you can see the response it is connected now the next step is to type sdb root on to gain the root access and once that is done just copy these rest of the commands from the notepad or from the description of the video we need to enter a couple of pull commands uh, just do this as it is shown on the screen and uh, make sure that there are no errors as you can see. So once you are done entering both the commands now it's time to do the real job that is to change the region. Now open the CAC active customer file and here change the letters to BTU. Here BTU stands for United Kingdom. I am choosing to use this region because it has all the features as I mentioned previously. Also change the product code as well 
and change the last three letters as shown. Now once this is done, we need to copy the push commands, enter them one by one so that these changes reflect on the watch active too and make sure that there are no errors. So now go ahead and put the watch in the recovery or the wireless download mode just like the first step and here the options are slightly different you need to choose the fourth option that is the wireless download use the power key to navigate again and press and hold to make the selection to get into the wireless download mode again it looks something like this now double press the power button to put into the ap mode again now go back to the pc and open the net odin software now we need to flash the stock firmware choosing the corresponding files ap for ap bl for bl and csc for csc now let me remind you that this process will take around 10 20 minutes to finish so things don't happen as quickly as shown in the video because I am fast forwarding some bits as well as you can see here so if everything is done right you will see the screen on the watch and also once it is done you will see this pass message on the net audience and your watch will boot like a newborn baby so you need to pair and set up the device and once it is done you can see the software details here it is running on the pretty old software as you can see but you will get all the software updates and again it takes at least an hour or a couple of hours to finish all the updates so after going through all the updates you can see all the software details again this is running on the latest firmware as you can see so to use the samsung pay you need to go through another step so when you click on the samsung pay by pressing and holding on the back button it will say that you need to set this up on the phone and here it will take you to a plugin that is samsung pay watch plugin but you cannot install this from the play store so i had to sideload this app from elsewhere but it is totally your choice whether you want to sideload an app or not so i leave that to you guys so once you install the watch plugin on the phone and you can see here it will prompt you to set up the samsung pay on the watch as you can see over here so let me know if you want me to make another video on how to set up Samsung Pay and how to use it in real world and how it works and stuff. Definitely comment down below. Also give this video a like. That's been it guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.